Hey everyone, it's Kat. I was not expecting to do a video today or film a video today because um, I just wasn't, but I got something in the mail and it's very nondescript of what it was. So when it came, I just thought it was for my husband. It's actually from the Pat McGrath Labs. So that means I got the lips, what is it called? It's called the Lust Matte Trans Lipsticks, which is a mouthful. That's what she said. So, um, yeah, I got it when it first launched on the Pat McGrath site. And at first I was like, oh, I'm not going to get it um, when it goes. I'm just going to wait for Sephora because I'd rather get Ebates or my Sephora points. But then everyone, it was like I was watching videos from Nikki Tutorials and Jeffree Star, who I think is the, the only people that put out a video. And I was like, oh, my God. I started like falling in love with it so there were three types you could get let's see what is it called you could get the the everything kit which comes with the, all nine shades for $275 and then you can get the trios for $95 which are like the nudes the reds and then there's like a dark vampy colors or you can do the singles for $38 and I could not tell which one I wanted because both Nikki and Jeffrey are very fair in skin tone and you know I'm a dark girl so I was like what do I do so I was like you know I'm just gonna get the whole collection and do the 275 because they are really pretty but then when the sale came for Pat McGrath like the everything kit sold out like right away and then I started freaking out and I was like, okay, so I bought, I was like, okay, that's okay. I'll just get the lip trios and I was like, I'll just get like the red and the nudes because I knew I'd probably like those the best. So I didn't, I wasn't really interested in the, the dark ones, but then uh, the nudes were already sold out, the trios. So I went ahead and bought the reds and the, the vampy dark ones. And then I was like, oh my God, I might as well just get the single nude ones that are available, which two out of the three were. So I, I ended up um, buying all of them but one, but I didn't get the everything kit. So something happens to me um, when these sales come on, I feel like I'm going to miss out. I get serious FOMO. And so I end up like buying stuff I don't need. So I don't know if I'm going to swatch any of these because I still kind of hope that when Sephora comes out with theirs, I can get my hands on the everything kit. So that's what it looks like. Oh, it looks like I, oh, I take that back. So I ended up buying the, this, the one of the trios, and then I closed it up and I just paid for it. And then I went back because I started thinking about, that, that's when I started panicking. And then I was like, I just bought, the dark ones and um, the two singles. So, this is so pretty. Let me get some scissors. Well, actually, I can use this. So, I've seen a lot of people in the videos like, we'll pour this out. I don't want to clean it up, so I'm going to try to delicately just take these out. So, the colors that I got were Elson, Obsessed, and Full Panic. So right off the bat, even before I can open this, I can feel like the weight of the lipstick and it's pretty heavy. Feels already very luxurious. This one is obsessed with an exclamation point. So when Nikki Tutorials talked about it, she said you can twist it up and then the lipstick, or how does it go? If you twist up the gold, the lip stays in front and if that makes sense <laughs> i'm just so nervous i don't know if i want to swatch it or not that's really it's like a looks like an orangey red it looks very velvety this one is elson it's like a brick red oh the names are right here <laughs> i didn't even notice that and this one is full panic and that looks like a pink red. All right, I, it's going to kill me. Let me uh, get a mirror and we'll put it on together. The first one I'm going to do is Full 
panic. So pretty. I don't even want to waste swatching it because I might as well just look it on my lips, right? And I just wiped off some lip balm, um, no lip gloss, so. So that's the color. Let me open up the windows a little bit so you guys have more light. Is that better? This is really pretty. Let me see. I don't know how to do these lip swatches things. Everyone on YouTube does it and they do these like really gorgeous faces. All I can do is like these weird faces. Anyways, let's try the next color. Sorry, I didn't really do makeup. Once I saw this come in the mail, I just um, put on some powder, bronzer, drew in my eyebrows really quick, and put on an eyeliner and mascara. Next, we're gonna try Else. No, wait, what is this? Obsessed. That's so pretty. There's a better view. I just lowered my tripod. What do you think of that? This is really pretty and just from a first impression, it doesn't feel like any matte lipstick that I own. It doesn't feel dry, it doesn't feel cakey, and it just kind of glided on really smooth. Not like, it kind of got has that creamy consistency of like a cream lipstick, but it's matte. Let's try on the last one, which is Elson. I didn't really wipe off my lipstick, the last lipstick very well. So I got some on the corner. Let's see. And on my face, oh my god. I'm a mess. This one is really pretty, and out of all of them, this one on the, like the most smooth. I think this one's my favorite. What do you guys think? I think it'll probably look better if I had like a full face of makeup, but these are all really pretty. Anyways, I hope you don't mind this quick little video. Um, I'm gonna do some some editing I'm going to try to upload it today so everyone can see it because I don't see that many videos up there especially with someone my skin tone so I hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys got the Pat McGrath lipsticks and if you are planning to get it when it launches on Sephora until next time take care